charging into the lead towards the line. It's the Ukraine and New Zealand. Lisa Carrington, Lisa Carrington, gold medal. So, a five-time world champion and an Olympic champion, can you go faster? Sure. <laughs> All the work you put in, you don't actually know, you can't calculate how much faster, you know, like you put in this much effort, doesn't always equal how fast you're going to go. So I guess we always, when training, you take a punt, you know, it's kind of like, okay, I'll do this much training, hopefully I get better. But I think it's always, it is hard because you're always comparing um, yourself or I'm comparing, like right at the moment, I'm trying to build my fitness back and I keep comparing to a year ago and where mm. I was at a year ago. Mm. So it's really hard to not look back and go, okay, man, I've got to be better than I was. But it's like, the main thing is to keep looking forward and uh, kind of pursuing a goal or something that seems so far out of reach, which makes every day you have to work harder and harder. So, yeah. <laughs> Your 2014 World Championship gold. Obviously, you broke the world record for the K1 200. Yeah. I know you've just said that milestones aren't <laughs> things you chase, but yeah. would you like to better that 2014 world record? I don't know if I can, to be honest. It's really fast. I mean, when I did it, I, like, yeah, milestones, it's fantastic. I've always wanted to break the 200 metre world record because winning it for, you know, multiple times an Olympic champion in it, and I don't have the world record, that, I don't know, that's pretty tough. So, I mean, breaking it last year was fantastic. I mean, you have to have quite a few things in a row, like you'd be in top, con um, top performance, but you also have to have perfect like, environment and conditions. So. I mean, it just was lucky on that day, and um, and it also it has to be done in an A final. Yeah. So I mean, it's pretty hard to come across a um, a world record. So yeah, I mean, I was pretty proud of that, and because conditions were great, I don't know if I can um, achieve that time because it was so much better than what I've ever done. Um, but I do hope to. You know, I think it's around my average, so I do hope to improve my average. So between my best performance and my worst, I hope those can get closer together, yeah. What keeps you motivated to, tr to keep out here on the water, banging in those hard yards all day, every day? I, I come down here and I train just because I have, you know, a desire to be better um, than what I was. I get to, um, you know, use uh, like the best in the world at what they do, like, physiologists, um, strength conditioners, my coach, um, nutritionists, physios, you know, I get to meet all these great people and learn off them. So really it's kind of a whole experience of what I'm trying to pursue. Also, there's some great benefits, yeah. If defending your Olympic title isn't your ultimate goal for Rio next year, what's motivating you for Rio? Uh, you know, I think it's just around performance, just being able to, um, you know, all the work I've done over the last three or four years and being able to um, put that forward um, next year at Rio, I think that's really exciting. It, um, you know, just show everyone how, you know, how hard I've worked, show myself, um, you know, what I'm capable of. So, you know, I think it's more exciting to be able to go there and just, you know, just do what I can. Um, I don't think, yeah, defending a title, you know, I think it's everyone's title really to get. <laughs>